what's happening everybody? After a long wait, I'm back with Negopara. I've been working on some other things as of recent, and to be honest, Negopara has not been on my mind, but I do want to finish the game. So, parts are going to keep on being keeping, keeping. Uh, about weekly at this point is going to be what I'm going to do until the game's finished. So, without further ado, let's get back into um, Negopara. So, <clears throat> I haven't read in a good nine years. My Coke is, uh, well, my mug of Coke is now empty, which I'm pretty uh, upset about. But, um, yeah, let's just, you know. All right. We're just about sold out for today. It's a little early, but I think we can close up the bakery. I totally forgot about the physics in this game. Just for this episode. Oh, sorry. Boom. We're going up. We're down a few hands, but it seems like we're doing fine without them. <laughs> they should be back soon, though, right? Well, Chocola's a real big idiot. Wow, you're a supportive older sister, aren't you? It'll be a miracle if she does end up getting her bell. I hope they don't get their bells taken away, though. I've got some things to take care of after this, so can I leave closing up to the uh, 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 closing up the store to you girls? Azuki, come with me. Huh? Why am I the only one who has to work overtime? Can't you just talk or just ask your buddy nuts? Don't be like that. I just need your help. Jeez, guess I didn't or don't get a choice. This cafe got some real shady policies, you know. You know why? Because you're black, Azuki. Because you are a brown person. And you do not get rights. In this specific cafe. In this year, which if you don't know the, actually the Nekopara timeline, in Volume 1, uh, it's actually all about um, Japan uh, being invaded by the 1940s uh, United States of America. And... Um, Basically them colonizing it and experimenting with the Japanese populace making such a thing as a cat girl But um since she's a brown cat girl um, At the time uh, I think this is 1950s or like 19 uh, like late 1950s when this game takes place with all the smartphones and everything um, It's kind of like Wolfenstein um, And basically uh, since she's a brown cat girl brown people it was the time um yeah, so if you're wondering why I'd have to explain something like that, as retarded as it sounds, um, you guys remember a guy by the name of Keemstar? Recently, I've been thinking to myself, I say nigger a lot. And I feel like him saying nigger the time he said nigger didn't help him out too much. So I want to cover my tracks a little bit more in the way that if uh, this channel keeps on growing like it does, then um, nigger. Jeez, guess I don't get a choice. This cafe's got some real shady policies, you know. She comes along, putting on a show and acting oh so indignant. But underneath that sarcastic exterior, or exterior, she's obedient. I reflect on that as I tell her to go change her clothes. Oh, God. So, by the way, um, starting after this episode, we are going to be installing the um, nude mod, which is on their website, which I will quickly bring up on Steam. Steam on Windows. Uh, pop this open. We can look up Nico Para Nude. Uh, I'm wondering if anybody. Yes, I'm that perverted. As much as I hate censoring the bath scene, for instance, I don't think there is one for Volume Zero. Guess we'll have to deal with it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, adult version of Nekopar. So, um, I know there is one. I was told this by uh, a friend. So, I mean, we're going to take a look at it anyways soon enough. Um, and hopefully that'll add to some of the fun. Because we did miss out on some of the good scenes. Uh, with some of the very sexy bits. So we will be... Um, I will be censoring it, obviously, YouTube-wise. But I want to make sure we get every, like, loot-ass scene we can get, you know? Since we're playing more of an interactive novel than a dating sim, I would rather you guys enjoy it more than, you know, just kind of watching along a story. 
All right, Cinnamon, I'm giving you the key to the story. Don't let me down, okay? I won't. Leave it to me, music note. Now, where the heck are we going? I'm not used to seeing you in a suit, Cashew. Are you going off somewhere to apologize for something and you needed a cat girl to, uh, help out? If that's the case, wouldn't it be better off bringing one of the big booby up? Oh. They're self aware! 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 They're self. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think they already were self aware. Huh. Yeah, they've been self aware the entire time, haven't they? Big booby cat girls like Moncina or Nuts instead. Don't worry about it. Just come on. Cash, not Cash, you fucking. Azuki. Sorry, it's been a while. You understand that there's a community that loves the lollies, right, girl? I like myself a good lolly. And to be honest, in the outfit you're wearing, it looks like you're kind of a, a thicker lolly if you, if you understand what I'm saying. And, um. See, we're specifically going to see a man that likes to stick his dick inside of younger children. Um, yeah, remember that part at the start of the video when I said I wanted to cover my tracks? I don't think I'm doing a good job of that, am I? I try to reassure Azuki as she makes excuses. As we chat, night falls, and we walk around the shopping district. Jeez, is this all you wanted me for? What the fuck, Azuki? We're trying to do something romantic. You're one of the two girls for this specific volume of Nekopara, you dipshit. Alright, we have you and Coconut, okay? If you played the first game, the first game had Vanilla and Chocola, which we're gonna go back and play after we finish this one, and then do volume three. So if you guys were wondering how that's gonna work, that's, that's how it's gonna work. That is really lewd, stop that. Sorry, I just needed to make sure our plot, plot assists, the ones that come for the plot, get their little little bit of fun. I hope you know how expensive it is to take a cute cat girl like me out on a date. You don't say cute, you say uh, kawaii or uh, lolly. One of my uh, these lolly cat girls. Yes, yes, you have my sincerest gratitude, Azuki-sama. Hmm, it must be somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. We're going in this store, Azuki. We are currently going into Lion's Den, the um, sex shop. Huh? This store is a strip club. Thank you for waiting. Let me pull back this curtain for you. Wait a sec. You never mentioned any of this. You put it on, you dip ass. Ah oh, darn, he, he totally stealthily, just like last time with a spouch spouchula, spouchula, um, stealthily put a dress on. Okay. She mutters, her embarrassed face glowing bright red. Hey, it suits you. Get it? Because uh, I'm wearing a suit. You, Azuki. I don't care if it suits me. She's not used to wearing frilly party dresses. Party dresses. Azuki fidget spins. Idly pressing her fingertips together. As her face reddens even more, she shoots me a protesting glance. I wonder if it is okay for a cat girl to be wearing an outfit like this. Once again, she does understand that she's an oppressive race. She's a race that's being oppressed. Uh, she's getting, there's a wage gap. Um, the white man's always chosen first. The white cat girl, like vanilla. D don't make fun of me. I'm already pretty great on my own, you know. I'm a god at Counter Strike Source, alright? She's so cute when she tries to act tough. Honestly, she does look stunning in the dress, though. Personality-wise, she's pretty rough around the edges. But this really accentuates her, finger, er, her figure. I was gonna make a joke about Amy Schumer, like, rough around the edges. Anybody remember her shitty movies that she made? Where, like, she was trying to show off, I'm rough around the edges, but I'm a great person on the inside. And then everybody found out she's just a horrible fucking human being with really, really bad jokes. How did she get popular? Especially that shit she said about Steve, but whatever. Even if her figure is that of, of a munchkin. Good job, Japan. You called a girl a munchkin. Her height and her very modest chest are accentuated too. Dude! 
Though I keep that part to myself, good. No, no just say it out loud. I like your tits! <laughs> Why are you making me wear this? As you can see, she is getting into position for the coming nude. Home, Home? Would probably be happy to wear this sort of thing, but why me? I'm assuming that's maple. It's really expensive too. Isn't that a problem? This store primarily primarily sells dresses, but we're just renting this one today. The place we're headed to has a strict dress code. That's why I have to wear this uncomfortable suit too. Huh? Huh? A dress code. I mean, dress code. I take a very wide-eyed. Azuki's hand, but I take a very wide-eyed Azuki's hand and escort her outside where a taxi is waiting for us. Can't even afford a fucking limo. Good job, Cashew. Let's spend all the fucking money on the dresses and then go to McDonald's in a taxi. Alright. No oh, shit, we're gonna get hit by a motorcycle. I love the part when we don't see a car. We're here, Azuki. In the road. <laughs> Just like before, I pull on her arm as we exit the taxi and head towards our destination. What do you mean by here? We mean here. This place has a dress code? Dress code? You should have just told me where we're going in the first place. Why are we taking out on a date? We're at the top of Yoki Yokohama's pride and joy, its tallest skyscraper. Azuki's jaw drops as her gaze, gaze sweeps over the coastal skyline, sparkling amidst the backdrop of the night sky. You said you wanted to eat something tasty, right? No, no, no. Unzips, just be like... Eat it! Talking about a dick, by the way. Well, a promise is a promise. I raise up my champagne-filled glass, and we gently clink our glasses together. But still, I never would have imagined something like this. You must really have fun watching me run all around the store. Yeah, because I totally love watching a very skinny woman with very little plot running. You know, you got a seriously kind heart, Cashew. Yeah, thanks for telling me. It's not like you've ever told me, you asshole. Thank God you're only in volume fucking two as the main grill. I hope you're enjoying your meal in champagne. Or sorry, sh champ agne. Well, yeah, it's delicious, but... While puffing out her cheeks, she swirls the champagne around in her mouth the exact same way I was doing with semen the night before. She's acting much more polite than she usually does. Because you're fucking spoiling her, dude. Like, honestly, you're wasting all your dollops on here. Obviously, she is. Like, what is she gonna be like? Fuck you, nigger! No. Like, it's... Maybe it's just the dress and her hairdo, but Azuki's... Or, Azuki looks much more grown up. Her hair's the same, idiot. She's beautiful. I honestly believe she is. So, a famous pastry chef is here today. I figured we should try the chef's cakes at least once in our lives. This is my way of thanking you, Azuki, other than the paychecks that I give you every two weeks, you useless piece of garbage. You didn't have to go this far to thank me, you know. No need to be so humble. My store would really be in trouble if you weren't around, Azuki. And well, thanking you this way also, a breather. A breather? It seems like she's already gotten used to the place. Though, she still seems to be a little miffed. I already love this game like a thousand times more. Now, they used my word. They used miffed. They used miffed. And when did this game come out? Uh... So it did come out this year. No, it was last year. No, it was... Yeah, it was last year. It was last year. I love this game like a shit ton now. They use Myth in 2016. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Love you guys. You're an older sister, Azuki. No joke. No, no, He just pulls out. Nah, it's just a prank. And then like six camera guys come out and everybody. She's like, oh, you guys! And then all the other cat girls rip off their tit tats and they're like, 
It was a joke. I was a guy. Especially for Coconut. You're always nearby and taking care of her. That's why I figured that you should let your guard down and take a well-deserved er, break from being everyone's older sister here. Cashew. Cashew. Uh, your eyes kind of through your hair. If you want to fix that real quick, um, Ubisoft, get on it. She looks at me with widening eyes. I feel like I'm trying too hard to show off. But what I said was the absolute truth. You warn me, bud. As an older brother myself, I know what it's like to worry about younger siblings. Shigure is trying her hardest to keep up with me right now, and it seems that Coconut is doing the same. I think that somehow everything ended up more or less okay, though. Kashu sama. I guess that means, oh man, I guess that means that even you worry about me. You can get away from your sister, or sisters, and let me spoil you once in a while, right? I was actually planning to come here alone, but you fucking loser, you're lying, all right? You're gonna buy a few hoes, a few boats, and then fucking come on down to uh, Wily Wizards wa wa Water World wo Dome dot com slash YouTube dot com slash www dot slash slash PewDiePie dot com. You know what I mean? Dot com dot com. With how things have been going, I thought this whole <clears throat> this would be just the right opportunity to take thing take you out. So, well, you know, you're an important part of our family, too, you know, you're like a little sister to me. You've always been helping me out, so let's let me meddle in your life a little. Once again, I turn to Izuki and lift my glass to her. You're trying way too hard to show off, you know. Man, dude, that fucking $20 gift card he got at McDonald's, that's what he's taking you out with tonight, just, just so you know. That Aunt May got him for a birthday gift two years ago, and it's just been sitting in his wallet. He forgot he had it. He's treating you. I'm telling you something. Someone might think you're some kind of leech. What? 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 Lecherous, leecherous, tress leash cake baker. What? Despite her sarcasm, I can tell she's embarrassed from the way she's holding her glass. Yeah, I, c I couldn't. See this coffee mug in my hand right now? You don't because I don't have a face cam. I'm telling you something. The way I hold this mug, I can't tell if I'm embarrassed. Body language is with the body, not the objects with inside it. The two of us gently clink our glasses together again. I guess doing this sort of thing every now and again isn't too bad. Seems like I'm getting a little tipsy from the champagne. You haven't taken a single sip. Don't lie to me. I put my title as Oni-chan aside while we're holding, or while well, we're here for now. Also, take a bite of that crab I paid, what, 9 million yen for? That's the Azuki I know, always trying to hide her true feelings. That wild smile is, or wild, why, 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 must be pretty tough being a big brother, too, she says, as noticing the way I'm holding my gra glass. Just as tough as being a big sister, I think, I say as looking at her glass, the way I know that she's a big sister by the way she's holding her glass. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no argument there, she says while holding a glass. We both empty our glasses in one gulp while looking at our glasses, and follow it up by pouring even more champagne into our glasses while holding glasses and assessing each other's body language from the glasses. This is Azuki, the cat girl who holds glasses, always so distant with everyone who holds glasses with body language from the glasses. We happen to bring our glasses <laughs> up to our mouths at the same time. Alright, and so one of those kicks come out, I'm gonna give you the usual things. No hold bear. Think your wallet's fat enough? You wanna see something fat? as the dick fucking slams on the table. Yeah, we definitely won't be here or going hung home hungry tonight, that's for sure. No matter how much you try to show off, I'm not calling you Oni-chan, all right? Oni-chan, Oni-chan. Um, honestly, I don't think we're gonna go home with full stomachs if you're gonna fucking sit there and look at your food and not take a single drink of the champagne. Though if you really want me to, I guess it's not totally out of question. I thought you said you were running into that sort of thing. 
Well, maybe I can make an exception for you, at least. He has a very Azuki-like smile across her face. No, 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 no. She has a very coconut-like smile across her She has a real George Costanza smile across her face right now. Who the fuck says that? I don't look at a guy who's smiling and be like, wow. That smile reminds me of Jerry Seinfeld. You know what I mean? You know that guy that did Seinfeld, the show? Yeah. This time, I, I just said to people from Seinfeld, it was just because of the George Costanza. No, I'm sorry. This time, Azuki's the one who, who raises her glass. I raise mine in response. All right, one more. To our wonderful family. Uh, cheers. We look out over the dazzling skyline as it twinkles in the night sky. Our glasses reverberate with a crystal clear tone. Home sweet home. We're not home at all. We're in the middle of the road. I'm definitely more comfortable in my regular clothes, that's for sure. It's nice to have a night out where you're treated like a Cinderella. I hope they helped you blow off some teeth. Or blow... That helped you blow off some steam! Created by Valve! Sure did. Thanks a ton. Thanks for always worrying about me, too. You got my gratitude. Once she took off the dress, she went right back to being her usual self. She really settled down once we got back to a place she's familiar with. The middle of the road. I think we should ask the restaurant for a few pointers? Oh, those cakes were so perfect. Like they were made of glass or something. What? All those cakes were so perfect. Like they were made of glass or something. What? I think. I, I, never mind. That is the most retarded voice line I ever. Yep. An expensive restaurant like that isn't a regular bakery. Bake Curie. Curito. If you think about it, there's no way we could compete with it. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Well, we could try to copy their taste, though. But of course, someone like me, who's gotten his experience through baking at home, will never be able to replicate a cake made by a world-famous pastry chef. Really. There are plenty who think your cakes are delicious, Cashew. And they also only play, pay fucking six euros per cake instead of like the nine zillion fucking British pounds they paid for the uh, ones that we just had. What's this? Are you trying to flatter me, Azuki? What the fuck is your po- Know your race! Know your place! You piece of shit! It's just one cat girl's honest opinion. You dummy! Sorry, was that not harsh enough? You dummy! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. As we continue to chat, I put my hand on the store's door. Hey, just don't get too excited. Wait a second, didn't we give Coconut the keys to lock? Yep, never mind, I guess. I'm going back to being a big sister tomorrow. I gotta keep my eyes on her, especially Nut. She's still a kid. I gotta keep encouraging her until she starts pulling her weight. Oh, she starts gaining some weight. Shout out to my BBWs out there. <laughs> She's always getting carried away trying to impress you, so you gotta take responsibility and help her. Right? She's got a big grin on her face as she cracks her usual jokes while holding a champagne glass, which I can read her body language as saying, Hump me? Fuck me? Daddy better make me choke. He better hump me? Fuck me? My tunnel loves to deep bro. So it do lick 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 I lick it I want to suck your dick I do but I can't fuck up my nails I can't so I pick it up with chopsticks mouth wide open mouth wide open but it's so deep I can't speak a sentence mouth wide open mouth wide open mouth wide open like I was at the dentist mouth wide open mouth wide open that was a bad meme I'm sorry Azuki always goes a little too far <laughs> I, uh, thank you, game, for fucking pointing out that my joke went too far and it wasn't funny at all. Shut up. 
My reply is jokingly indignant. Stop copying everything I'm doing, dude. I wasn't really planning on sweet talking her or anything. Oh shit. No oh, shit. Why do I have to put my dick inside of her, dude? I just I I equipped the uh, fucking steel booster nine thousand to my dick and just went straight through Azuki's pants there and God fucking damn it. How do I explain this to her? Okay, look. I'm an honest man, right? I like to fuck women. Is that honest enough? Okay. Coconut is standing there, wide-eyed. Yeah, nuts! Why are you still- Yeah, the doors weren't locked. Follow the clues! Follow the clues, Scoob! Alright? She wouldn't have found out if it wasn't for those darn keys. I would have gotten away with it for you if it wasn't for your damn kids and your keys. I was waiting for... Onita. What a terrible timing. <laughs> By the look on her face, it's obvious that she heard what Izuki said. This is a complete misunderstanding. If Coconut missed what we were saying beforehand, it would sound like we are making fun of her. Sweet talking me until I start pulling my weight? What do you mean by that? I thought I was your beloved little sister. Wait a sec. <laughs> calm down. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down and remove your shoes and move to the TSA booth. But you were praising me earlier, weren't you, Azuki? Even though you've never told me anything like that before, not even once. She's trying to stifle the anger in her voice, or stifle, sorry. As she bites down on her lip, she's not doing that, that's a lie. I see her shoulders start to quiver slightly. That is also not happening. Did you know that a quiver is actually a device used for holding arrows that is usually put on your hip uh, for an archer? You didn't know that, did you? I actually uh, shot archery when I was a kid. I actually had a lot of fun with it. It wasn't like pussy archery too, like fucking boy scouts and shit. Where like they just have these stupid ass longbows. I went all in. I had some like dope ass bow where like we'd have to set the yards and shit. And like I was in a league. It was really cool. So you know, you just learned. If you didn't know that, quiver is something that holds arrows. That's... Look at that. This isn't good. I doubt she'll listen now, even if I try to clear things up. This is a critical situation. If I don't choose my words carefully... Yeah. No, like we said. You got it all wrong. If you're eavesdropping on people and jumping to conclusions like that, all you're gonna get is some loopy information. Azuki, I don't think you should. Why? Why would you lie like that, Azuki? Question mark explanation point. You're the worst. The absolute worst. Do you enjoy making fun of me? I thought the sisters were supposed to stick together! They're thick and thin! Explanation one, explanation point, sideways, L! I'm telling you, I'm not lying at all. Alright? Don't get all riled up and just listen to us, okay? Shut up! I don't want to hear a word you say, explanation point! The only thing big about you is your ego! Your brain is just as small as your body! Hey, Coconut, calm down! It's really not how it seemed. <coughs> Back off, Cashew. Azuki cuts me off and takes a step toward Coconut. Oi, hey, Nuts. This ain't something you should be making such a fuss about. Didn't I tell you to just listen to what I have to say? Or are you just trying to pick a fight? People are going out of their way to help you, and all you want to do is piss them off? Watch your language. Fucking nigger. We're having a serious talk here, so just listen to your big sis. Oh, now I get it! This is all because you hate me! Isn't it explanation point question mark?! Oh, fuck! I shouldn't have did that. Oh, God. That hit my monitor, dude. That hit my monitor, dude.
I'm just a little sister who always goes overboard and gets in the way. Huh? Don't start acting like a big sister all of a sudden just so you can fucking lecture me, you piece of humanoid garbage. No, your race. No, your place. 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 Ah! You and Oni-chan are laughing about me behind my back! You're no big sister of mine! Guess all the nice things Oni-chan said to me were lies too! Saying they're an important part of your family, that was just a big lie, huh? So I'm not actually related to you, Oni-chan! Hey, that's over the line, coconut. Oh my god! Oh my god! Azuki Teddy slapped her! Oh my god! No, this was- this is a turn of events. In this WWE Smash Mouth Live tunnel match, Azuki went in for the briefcase, climbing the ladder, and jumped down with an elbow slam toward Coconut. This is a crazy event, people! Sunday Night Raw! Sunday Night Raw! Sunday Night Raw! Know your race, know your place! I can't believe what I just saw. All I can do is stare at Azuki in shock. Listen, you. Listen, you. Do you ever know when to shut the fuck up? Uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, don't you understand that this is exactly why I still say you're a kitten? I... Uh, uh. Coconut stammers, dumbstruck, tears start to well up in her eyes, followed by an incoherent wail, but Azuki re remains unaffected. She continues to glare at Coconut steadfast. What? 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 But I... But I... Without another moment's hesitation, she dashes out of the room. There was a short silence, followed by a ringing of the chime, or, yeah, of the chime at the store entrance. That damn stupid cat girl. There's a hint of regret in her voice, like she's holding back her own tears. The hand she slapped coconut... With, or the hand that she slapped coconut with twitches. That was unnecessary. Especially since you, of all people, worry the most about coconut. Just shut it. Shit. I, I didn't even mean to. My hand just... Liked, commented, and subscribed. Do you want to join my free gift card giveaway? Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to never miss a video. Azuki begins to cry as though she was the one who was slapped. She squeezes the offending hand tightly. Her kindness and sorrow, her anger and weakness. I gently pet Azuki as these emo er, fuck, emotions churn inside of her. You know, I... A while back... I tried to help Shigur, and went up getting into a huge fight. The situation isn't so different. So I know how you feel, Azuki. And I know how Coconut feels. <laughs> I just, I tried taking a breath like mid-dot, and it didn't work. Full of regret, Azuki lowers her head, holding her hand tightly and digging her nails into her skin. There's been a lot of times where I've ended up doing stupid things. So I want to help out my precious family if they end up in a similar situation. Cashew. I take her hand, now painfully red and marked up from her own nails. And peer into her eyes. Azuki being stubborn like this is only going to make things more painful. The longer this goes on, the less chance you have to make up with coconut. Are you okay with that? I'm not... Make it excuses. It's pretty obvious. You think I don't know that? Ah, yes. I guess you would. 
Well, if you know that, then you know we have to go find Coconut. You are You are a big sister, right? Azuki lifts her head. Though she seems hurt, she looks at me. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah, I guess you're not as indecisive as I am, Azuki. Goddamn, Cashew. Throwing shade? I choose my words... Sorry, I was looking out the window. I choose my words deliberately. Her lips curve into a re... Uh, yeah, resigned smile. Sheesh. Never thought you'd be so bossy, Cashew. You keep trying to act cool saying things like that so calmly during a time like this? But... Thanks. Thanks to you, the situation ain't totally beyond fixing. There's just another thing that a big sister has to deal with. Sure is. It's tough being a big sister. She nods, smiling just as always. Alright, let's go look for that bad little... Bad, bad, bad... Alright, let's go look for that bad little sister of mine. Yeah. We have to find her quick. With a deep breath, I put a hand on the shop door. And pushing it open, we run out to go find our beloved sister. And with that... Well, no, 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 no! We already found her! Fuck that! This is where the food truck was. That's not fair. Alright, so now, uh... Yeah, that's that's the end of the episode. Let's just play the intro music. Bah! 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 Ba 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 